hey everyone so i um picked one of my poetry journals to uh open up to a, a passage randomly to signify what's going on right now like what's happening in the collective um really strong transits going on with mars squaring pluto um moving towards uranus it's a lot of activation moving through <coughs> psychological blocks and really for the next couple weeks or so we're building this awareness of where we can move beyond the threshold and the impasse that's kept us from living courageously and following our soul's calling it's a very potent configuration and um it can feel like there's a lot of psychological buildup that we don't have the ability to access or kind of get to the core of but as with all things if we just keep on allowing it and holding space with it looking at it it blossoms it sort of opens up the clarity comes in timing um, and sometimes there's a calling to really uh, take a risk there's there's meaning to that to, to make a choice to make a choice that um, will change things in your life so I'll read to you what I what I turn to mm -mm. Give me the real eyes to see the intelligent design of my life. That the gift has been given. I don't pray for the gift. I pray to see it. A moment of contemplation, free of desire, not seeking. It seems that as I fulfill my creative urge, I seek less. It is so that I am my own fulfillment. My life is allowed to be simple. My body is designed for peace. For peace, I rest in myself. Mm -mm. That's good. As I fulfill my creative urge, I seek less. Something so important in that. You know, Pluto has a lot to do with... On the one hand, the, the inner marriage, the awakening of the soul consciousness. And it's where there's a deep permeating sense of need. And we enter these phases in our life where there's necessarily an exhaustion of the external seeking. The energy that, that reaches out for something on the outside that can become at a certain point a distraction from the greater <coughs> offering of our own wealth and abundance it's this interesting piece when we look for what we feel we lack we simultaneously don't find it we might get fulfillment from it but that fulfillment will come and go when we give our from our power when we show up to express ourselves creatively in life, it requires that we reach into the wellspring of our own soul, which means we're going to be connecting with our own wealth and abundance. We're going to access it. So in giving what we have, which can be difficult, it can be hard to connect with our power, right? to actually access this powerful spring of consciousness and love and creation inside of ourselves in a way that's sort of the the deeper teaching behind all kinds of addictions as well where we turn to something on the outside is where we're actually craving to experience our own depth so how do we open up our own depth? How do we connect with what's inside of us and move it out? Well, 
comes back to what I was saying. I don't have an answer, but one perspective is sometimes we just have to do it. That's what Aries is all about. You just got to go. You move. You start. And the suffering really might be not starting. The more we don't start, the more impoverished we become. So, <coughs> there's a powerful truth that the universe kind of holds the pieces for us. It knows our deepest truth, our deepest desire. It knows what harmonizes with our soul. It's like life is conscious of itself. It's aware of us. And so we don't actually have to take responsibility to figure the whole thing out. And, you know, get it all worked out and complete everything. Mars, just start. If we just start, will set in motion a process that is completely out of our hands. So that's my offering for you today. Much love to you.